Hello and welcome to the life of an outdoorsman. Today we're going to be looking for some chaga. Chaga grows on birch trees. There's a lot of birch trees around in this area. And uh, today we're going to see if we can do a friction fire with chaga. Kind of like a fire plow where you create a, a V on top and you take the chaga and you rub it on that V. That pressure point causes some friction. Friction creates heat and heat creates embers. So today it's fire plow. We need to find some chaga first and we might even get in some ferro rod on the chaga. Let's see if we can get it done. Not those ones. To be totally honest, this is the first time I've actually went and tried to find Chaga. But I know what it looks like. I've seen lots of videos, pictures of it. Right now, it's looking kind of slim. Safe to cross. Oh, well, I had to lose a layer. Getting way too warm. But I did find some chaga. Yes. Let's see. Right here. I just set the camera down to look around in the area. And I find it like 20 feet away. First tree to look at. So let's see if it's any good. There we go. I think that's what we're looking for. Seeing I'm a little bit a ways away from my stick that I brought along with me, I'm just gonna find another one. I see a stick over here. Let's get it made up for the friction part of it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, shave it down for a V, like this. I might actually do it with the ax. Okay, so you can see the rough shape of that V is cut out. And I just finished it up with my knife, and then we'll be on to see if we can get a number going. A little bit on my knuckle, not bad. Okay, let's give it a go. Here is attempt one of our chaga and plow. Let's see if we can even get a groove going here. Small and smoke. That's what we're getting for, let's get a groove there. We might have to uh, make a little groove in that tree so it doesn't slip off again. Now that we got a groove in there, try to. I got both hands to work with. Hmm. Nope. Got into some of the wet stuff. That's not good. I think my chunk is too wet overall. See all this? There's only a little bit of dry stuff. Let's see if we can take some chunks off. 
Yeah, see? Not even like an eighth of an inch in to get to all the wet stuff. I bet if I chewed this out. Yeah, it's all wet underneath that. That's not gonna burn. Well, after taking a little skin off my hand and my knuckle, no success. It's uh, the chag I had, it's down there now, is too wet. So I gotta find myself some more chaga stuff that's drier. This stuff had frost all through, all through the middle of it. It's really dark, kind of wet, and when you had your finger on it for a little bit, you take your finger off and you can see that it, the ice melted. So there's too much frost in it. So I have to find some new, have to find some new chaga. So after hours of walking around trying to find chaga, I finally found some. I don't know if it's any good. I did find back a ways I found a couple small pieces like this big, but they're not they're not what I'm looking for. It needs to have that bright yellow inside is the part that we need to use for this. So here's some right here. Let's see if we can get a chunk off that's worth it using. There's some bright yellow inside. Really damn. Also very damp. Might be able to use some of it. Small chunk, and the outside's damp, or the inside's damp. It's that layer in between that we kind of need. But I don't know if we're gonna get to it. No, all too damp. <sighs> Better luck next time. So, it's getting late. I do have this piece of chaga that I might be able to save the trip with. What I'm gonna do is I have my ferro rod. I was hoping to do a plow with the uh, this one here. I might still try it if this piece is big enough. It's very dry. It was uh, kind of on an overhanging tree like this and under the underside, so it was, it was very dry. Um, this might be too wet now though. I was had it in my backpack walking around all the time. So right now <clears throat> I'm gonna take my ferro rod and I'm gonna take my ferro rod, make a little indent right here, stick the ferro rod there and see if I can get an ember going on this. Um, it's I think it's too small and too crumbly to do a fire plow with, but it, it would probably work quite well for the ferro rod. So Let's get my knife, dig ourselves a little little hole in it. Oh yes, very nice. Crumbling, you see all the crumbs coming out? That's what we're looking for. Very dry, crumbly material. And then the ferro rod is just gonna sit in there. <sighs> little dent, just like that. You can see that, there's a little dent in there. Maybe a little closer even. I don't know if it's gonna pick this up, but. There we go. So the ferro rod is just going to stick right, right here with the ferro rod right there. Strike it and see if we can get an ember going. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take the piece of chaga, stick our ferro rod right up close here and take our striker and try to get the sparks down in the bottom there. Now let's spin it around so we got the this bright side up. Okay, let's give it a shot, see what we get. Nope, I think I'm too far in the 
in the hole for that. I think it needs a little bit of chewed up inside there. Just chew it up, get some fine dusting in there. And hold it again like this, hit striker, and try not to knock all of our dust back out. That had one for a second there. Oh, there it is, still there. Oh well, give it a shot again. Stays lit for a few seconds and goes out. Was going for a second down in there. Still going. There we go. You probably missed all that. Well, it went out. Let's give it a shot again. What I'm doing is I'm just going to chop up some fine stuff here in the hole. Typically when you use a ferro rod on this stuff, you'd want to make it into a fine powder, which you can do using the uh, using the saw. That's the file. You could use maybe the file too. But if you have one that has a saw on it, you just take it and rub it really finely on there. push all that dust into into a hole or onto on a flat piece of birch bark or something then you could use that to uh, to light with right now I'm just trying to get an ember going just to show you folks because right now it's being stubborn so let's hold it like this ouch there you go see that smoke in there a little ember There we go. I got our piece of chaga going. Now that'll stay going for a while now, especially with there's a little bit of breeze out here. So now I can get, go get some tinder and light that up. Thankfully with that little cedar pole I have here, I have a few little pieces that I can mush up here. Stick that little piece of tinder in there. So now I got a bundle of birch bark around the cedar that has the chaga on it. You can see the wee bit of smoke coming out. I would get that into a fire. There we go. All right. Ouch. Well, that will wrap up this episode. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a fire plow style with the chaga. Ended up just doing um, a ferro rod and the chaga. And in a situation where I would need this, it would work fine. Remember, gather your stuff first, then get the ember. So that wraps it up. See you next time. Come get the camera.